we've come to this extraordinary cliff top um, with views down onto rocks and the tin mine buildings and the ocean um, and uh, I've done a bit of painting and um, while I've been sat here I've been thinking about the gear that I carry around it's terribly easy to think oh I better put that in the bag because I might need it and I've I've done a bit of that and my bag's probably heavier today than it needed to be but over the years I have tried to whittle things down I carry quite a lot of brushes with me but I could probably make do with about a third of those but they don't weigh very much and they don't take up very much space and uh, it is nice to have them and many of these brushes I've had for um, very many years watercolor good watercolor brushes are expensive and they need to be looked after but you can see from the state of some of these that um, they've seen quite a lot of use but they're still good and they still get used most days um, one of the real chores is carrying paper around and um, on thinking about this a while ago I realized that I needed something that I could use as a container to put paper in that would fit in my painting bags. I've got two or three bags, they're all about the same sort of size. There are occasions when I need to carry a big board, an A1 board or an A2 board, uh, in the old imperial sizes, a half imperial board is a good, a good size. But for the most part, I work on the spot fairly small so something a more modest size is more manageable and um, so I decided I would rig up something that would take uh, a quarter of a watercolour sheet and uh, would work as a container so that I can carry paper for a day's work and uh, it's somewhere to pop in um, uh, watercolours once they're done and reasonably dry uh, so that they'll uh, survive the rest of the day while I'm walking around looking for the next spot. And it's, it's very simple, it's just a, a, shallow, a shallow box arrangement and paper gets slid into here and I can carry quite a few sheets. There's about 10 sheets of paper in there all cut up ready and they go in the back. Um, I've left a bit of a lip along this edge so that I can put a nice big bulldog clip to hold the paper. As it's so windy today I've helped the bulldog clip out with a bit of masking tape around the edge and that's fine, that'll all peel off. And, it, and it's a nice practical solution. Um, the watercolours themselves, my travelling kit that I use most often is just this tiny box and uh, it doesn't look as if there's much colour in there but actually uh, the biggest chore is keeping it clean during a day's painting it needs washing quite often and the palette's not big enough that little palette it would be handy to have a have a saucer or a little little plastic tray or something of that sort alongside it but I can manage with that and if I've got the luxury of, of a car close to where I'm working or I'm working close to home, I can, I can always use a bigger palette then. But for the most part, that does me. One of these little uh, collapsible um, water pots is very handy. Um, one thing it, it that is an essential and takes a bit of lugging about is a decent sized bottle of water. Um, I ran out of water yesterday, which was a bit of a crisis. And uh, even though we're surrounded by sea, I don't fancy trotting down to get some of that water and anyway I don't think salt water would do the job. Um, going on to what I've done today I wanted to have a have a really good look at these fabulous buildings down on the on the cliff nearly down to sea level and um, I chose this spot because it gives me a, 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 a very clear view and I wanted to just really make a study of this and to give myself the opportunity to really look. And the extraordinary thing about those buildings is the way that they seem to belong in their landscape. And um, it's been fascinating sitting here 
uh, making this little little drawing. But um, this was really an information gathering exercise, and um, I think it's done that job to some extent. But if this is going to uh, develop into a, a bigger painting or, or be taken on in some other way, I think I want to do something about the composition because I think that uh, it falls too easily into two halves and that although I wanted the drama of having the sea coming all the way round, I think it would be improved by taking some of the uh, uh, see out on this side. So as a reminder that I'm intending to do that, I'm just going to draw over that like that. There we are. There we are. 